Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be giving you my no spoilers review on Albon the Enchanted Stallion. I'm sorry, I might be pronouncing the Albon parts wrong. I heard them say it a few times in the movie and I still didn't completely register in my brain exactly how to pronounce it, but you get the idea. So I promise that there won't be any spoilers in this review for anyone that has not seen it yet and actually is considering seeing it or what have you. So the reason I am reviewing this particular movie is because they actually had a little thing about it and a special uh, model for it at Briarfest in 2016. I also have a video reviewing that model from last year if you want to see that video of the model. And this was before I even really knew much about the movie or anything. But now after seeing the movie, I actually like the model even more and just kind of enjoy it a lot more. So Albon the Enchanted Stallion came out on the 4th of April 2017. And I just recently watched it because it just came out on Netflix. So overall, uh, shortly to say I thought it was a good movie, but I'm going to go ahead and go into all the kind of little details and thoughts I've had about it and just kind of dive into everything I thought about it while not giving away any spoilers about the plot or even some of the characters and different things like that. So when I first started watching the movie, I was pretty skeptical at first. I was assuming that it wasn't going to be very good because I have seen a lot of horse movies that are these kind of smaller films that are okay but they tend to not come out very good. I've seen some really bad horse movies in my days. This one is definitely not one of them though. I actually do really like this one. So even though I was skeptical at the beginning of the movie, by the time I finished watching it I actually really liked it and I was like, okay, I actually want to see this movie again. So for me that's kind of a big deal because I am kind of nitpicky about some things. And I'm not really like a film snob, I would say, but it is hard for me to enjoy some movies because of the fact that I know all this random film knowledge that drives me nuts. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about both the uh, like good things and bad things that I've noticed about the film, or not even necessarily good and bad, just different things I noticed about it. First off, I do want to say with the title of the film, it is kind of strange because Albon the Enchanted Stallion sounds like Albon, or Albon, I, I'm sorry, I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but it sounds like Albon is the name of the main character horse in the movie, when in fact that is not his name at all. The horse's name is Dagdia, which for Briar people might have already realized because the fact that the Briar model that came out was named Dagdia. So Dagdia is his own character in the film, and he's a pretty cool character, honestly. Like, it's not what I expected at all. Kind, of, I should have probably expected more, but it's been a while since I, like, read the back of the box that Briar came out with last year. So it's been, like, a year since I went over that kind of thing, and I just completely forgot about what the plot of the movie was supposed to be. And so I just kind of came into it without expecting anything like specifically plot wise or character wise or anything so it was kind of a lot of fun surprises for me actually while watching it and Dagdia is a really pretty horse obviously the two different horses actually I believe they said they used three technically but the uh, two or three different Frisian horses they used in the movie were Nitrous and Hans and they're just awesome horses clearly they did a really good job in the film and they're just super beautiful to watch on the screen as for the character Dagdia, he is actually not like the very center of the story though. It's kind of funny because they kind of make it seem like by the title and by some of the plot, uh, like little short plot summaries too, is that he's like the main character of the film, but he's kind of really not. He's not in it the entire time. He is an important character for the film, but he is not like core main character. The main character is actually the young girl whose name is Evie. I would consider her definitely as more of the main character. Overall, the movie is uh, honestly plot heavy. I will admit that, but it's not like terrible. I've seen definitely a lot worse. There is some character development and some of the characters are kind of quirky and memorable and so that I think is really fun. One of my favorite characters was actually, oh my gosh, I, I completely forgot 
how to pronounce his name. I think it's like Lair or something like that. I think it's Lair. But this one uh, guy character in the movie was really funny. He was actually one of my favorites. And my mom was also watching the movie with me, and she was also like, okay, he's my favorite character. He is so funny. And I was so surprised that there is a lot of humor in this movie, which some of it was maybe unintentional humor for what I found funny, but a lot of it was like intentional humor and it actually was really funny. There was a lot of moments that had me laughing. And I did not expect this movie to be like a funny movie on purpose, but it actually has a lot of good humor in it. So as I mentioned, the movie is plot heavy, but it's not terrible. Like I've definitely seen worse plot heavy movies and it does still have some character development and maybe a little bit of character change. I'm not gonna get into it, but like the whole stuff I've learned for script writing is all about character and character change. And so that's usually what I always tend to look for now in movies, but I'm not going to go in depth in that. I'll just say that, yeah, a little plot heavy, but overall it was good and I did like the characters. The characters are really fun, I thought. This movie overall like should not be taken like too seriously or anything. It's obviously not like the greatest movie ever made, but it is really good and it's really charming, I think. It's really, really charming, really fun, and really funny. That's like what I would say for it. Now there were some cliche moments and ideas in the movie, things that were like kind of common for horse movies. And then there were also just like a few things that reminded me of other movies. But overall, there were actually quite a lot of like original ideas and things, or pretty original. It's so hard nowadays to have like original concepts and, and movies and such because it's just so hard now with all the different things that have already been done. But this actually, I felt like was pretty original in a lot of ways. I won't go into exactly how it was original, but there is a lot of different times throughout it that I thought, wow, this is actually something I've not really seen done before or at least not been done before in this exact way. So that I thought was actually made it really fun and enjoyable as well. I'm really sorry by the way this review is going to be kind of all over the place and not like specifically organized. I'm just kind of saying my different thoughts as I kind of come across them here on my notes. But more on the characters. The main character was Evie and I thought she was a pretty enjoyable character. I thought she was pretty relatable and the actress did a great job playing her. A lot of the other characters all seem to have like their own little kind of personalities that even though there wasn't a whole lot of time giving like character development or building backstories on any of the characters too much. I mean there were some backstories in character development still but they didn't have like a whole lot of time set aside for that. But even though they didn't do that you could still tell like the little quirks that the characters had and their little different personalities and their little like funny moments were just really great. I was also super excited when I found out, not until actually watching the movie, that Jennifer Morrison is in it. And I love Jennifer Morrison because she was in House and I love House. And so I was really happy and shocked when I saw her in the movie. And so that was also just like another bonus for me. There's actually quite a few really great actors and actresses in this movie. And I think that is something that also really made it, is that the acting was done really well. Sometimes in horse movies, the acting is not so great, but all the actors and actresses did a great job, and the director did a great job on it. Now, I will be a little nitpicky for a moment, because just this is my review, and I'm just going to be a little nitpicky on some things. There were some questionable costume design choices on some things. I won't go into specifically what they were. But I'm guessing if you watch the movie, you can probably guess which little things I have a problem with, maybe. But there were some costume design things that I just thought were questionable. But there was also some costume design things that I thought were really cool. Specifically, the Queen's, like, crown. I love that. It had, like, the animal skull in the middle, and it just looked really cool. That was, like, awesome. I love that. So that was one of the things that I was like, wow, that's really cool and pretty original. I haven't quite seen something exactly like that before. Now to nitpick a little bit on the editing, there were some moments in the movie where they used slow motion where it was a little unnecessary, I felt like. There were a couple shots that were in slow motion. 
kind of jammed in between other shots and it just was kind of weird like they just some of the shots did not need to be slowed down I don't know exactly why that was that could have been something with editing that they didn't have enough footage for that particular moment or whatever which I totally understand that but there was like also a scene when Dagdia lays down and it was slowed down not like a whole bunch but enough to notice that it was being slowed down and it seemed kind of weird like it was in between being like a slow motion clip and a normal speed clip if that makes sense and that was something that just kind of bothered me because I didn't really understand why they slowed it down just like ever so slightly but who knows maybe other people won't even notice that I just tend to notice those kinds of little things because I'm so used to having to look at that kind of stuff when it comes to editing and such I thought the locations for this movie were pretty good overall, like a lot of the sets looked really good and the locations looked kind of like fantasy, like another world that looked really pretty. A couple shots I thought were like particularly stunning. I also don't believe there was anything in this movie that like bothered me horse knowledge wise because sometimes in horse movies I do for some reason still get like weird horse knowledge stuff wrong, even like really common common knowledge horse stuff. But this movie didn't have any of that kind of wrong horse knowledge that I've seen in other movies. I may have maybe missed something, but I definitely didn't notice anything particular or outstanding of being like super wrong horse knowledge or anything. They didn't mess up anything like that in respective. If you're watching this mostly thinking about the horses, then you can rest assured you're not going to get a bunch of weird horse knowledge mistakes in it. I think that's pretty much all my thoughts on it without giving away any spoilers or anything like that. I'd say overall, if you want to go watch this movie, go into it with the idea of it just being a fun movie. Don't take it too seriously and just, just enjoy it. I think it was really fun. Don't expect it to be like this super amazing Academy Award winning movie or anything like that. Just take it as it is as a really fun fantasy movie that has this horse in it and some really fun characters and I really do like all the fantasy elements they did. I thought it was really fun. And it is a pretty great like family movie I think because my mom enjoyed it. I enjoyed it and I'm sure like younger kids would probably also enjoy it. So I would recommend it and again just don't take it too seriously and just enjoy it as it is. I think it's a really fun and cute movie. I will also say after seeing the movie, I really wish I would have done the fun little thing at Briarfest, like getting to meet the real life horses and then a couple of the cast members also came. So I really wish now that I would have done that, but they hadn't actually released the movie yet, so we didn't really know about it. But if they came again to Briarfest or something, I would totally want to go see them, the horses and the cast, because I thought it was really cool and I would love to talk to them. So that is all now for this review, and if you want to check out the review I did on the Dag Dia Briar Horse for the movie, I will have the link for that video in the description and at the very end of this video. Alright, and I actually have two questions for you guys now in this video. The first question is, if you saw this movie, what did you think about it? You can let me know in the comments. And the second thing is, I want to know if you guys would be interested in me doing some more of these like little reviews on different horse movies. I have seen a lot of different horse movies before, and good or bad, I could give you reviews on some of them. I have watched some really, really bad horse movies before, so if you would enjoy me just sitting and ranting about them for a really long time, I could do videos on that. And I could also give you reviews on movies that I just thought were amazing and just talk about those horse movies as well. I don't know, but if you guys would be interested in me doing more horse movie reviews or maybe even just movie reviews in general, you can let me know in the comments down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a super duper awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!